Hi everyone, it's Claire. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial on this look, something that I have been going to a lot lately and that's really easy. A list of all the products I mentioned will be below as well as my social media accounts and my new Google Helpouts account where I can teach you a one-on-one -on -one makeup lesson over the internet. So go check that out if you're interested and let's get started. First, we're going to start out with our canvas, and this is the Makeup Forever HD foundation, and I am in the shade N140, and this is a great foundation if you want your skin to look flawless, but also natural. It's kind of crazy using those two words in the same sentence, but it really does look like sec second skin, and I'm using a Samantha Chapman Real Techniques brush to help me blend that in. Here I am taking the wonderful Lorac Pro palette that I cannot keep my hands off and I'm going to go in the middle on the top row there to grab the color mauve and I'm picking that up on a fluffy blender brush and you know what that means. I'm going to go into my crease and whoa, I put a little too much color there but these eyeshadows are so soft that I wasn't even panicking. I was able to just blend it out because they're so smooth and soft and forgiving in that way. So here I'm just giving dimension to the eye and create a bit more depth to my crease but I'm also going to take that color and run it underneath my lash line as well. The next shade I'm going into is champagne and it is a true champagne color. It is very shimmery and it's going to go right on our lid space. I love surrounding my eyes with matte and then putting shimmer right in the center. It does this really cool popping effect. It makes your eyes really brighten up. So I'm doing my first layer on the lid with that color. Then I'm taking the shade Nude, which is even more iridescent as you can see. And I'm putting that concentrated on the center of my eyelids so that it pops even more. A lot of popping effects here. So I'm just packing that on and layering the two together. Next, I'm taking a basic gel black eyeliner by Maybelline and I'm taking it on a liner brush from Sigma and I don't want to do a really dark dramatic eyeliner look. I, in fact, I'm not even going to wing it out, which is I am usually just programmed to do, so I'm just doing a basic thin line across the eyelids. I'm going to layer up my two favorite L'Oreal mascaras. First, I'm taking the Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara, a very bushy wand that's going to thicken up my eyelashes and I like to go side to side so that it really gets the root of the lashes. And then I'm going to take the Butterfly Mascara, mascara to comb it out and give it extra length here. I'm defining the lower lash line with a little bit of brown eyeliner and this is Coffee by MAC, a really nice soft coal pencil to define the lower lash line. So that it isn't that harsh, I'm going to take the edge of an eyeshadow brush and I picked up a little bit of the same color we used in our crease that we used earlier on on the lower lash line to smudge out that brown liner. Now I'm using a creamy concealer by Maybelline Fit Me and it is in the shade Fair. And this is going to brighten up the under eye area as you can see it is very bright and light underneath here. And now I'm going to take the same brush I used for my foundation and just work that in. And as you can see that already brings the eye makeup forward and it just intensifies those colors a little bit. So I like using a light concealer for that reason. Now I'm going to set all that makeup with my Laura Mercier translucent powder and I'm taking it on a small dome Sigma brush and I'm working this on my T-zone area, especially underneath the eyes to prevent any sort of creasing happening and this is going to help give a nice smooth surface before we go into our powder bronzer and our powder blush. The bronzer I'm using is my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer. Surprise, surprise, this is a great bronzer and it's such a great color. I used this on so many bridesmaids last weekend of all different skin tones and it worked for so many of them. So I really highly suggest this bronzer a lot and it smells like chocolate so that's an extra bonus. Here I'm taking a Sigma blush. This is called Serene and it's a gorgeous mauve peachy tone. It really will go nice with the eyeshadows we have on here and it's super highly pigmented. I hardly dip my brush in there and it gives so much color. Here I am taking my current favorite nude color. This is by L'Oreal Infallible's line and it's their 8 hour lip gloss. And they are not kidding about the staying power on this. It is a gorgeous peachy nude shade. This is called Barely Nude and it stays on all day long. 
that is going to complete this look. I hope you all enjoyed it. And remember, all the list of products I use in this tutorial will be listed below, as well as all my social media accounts. Thank you so much again for always joining me and being so supportive. I look forward to seeing you all next time. Take care. Bye!